What did you want to talk about today, noob noob? Talk about getting Melissa Benoist very moist. Getting her in the super grill. Super boy. Boy. Well, what are we talking about today? You had some things you wanted to say about Supergirl. I am the resident CW expert. You are. I watch everything. You do. You're still hooked on Batwoman. Arrowverse for life, bro. You have a tattoo that says I Arrowverse do. for life. I literally made my penis the green arrow tattoo. <laughs> you made it a green arrow? Yep. Mm -hmm. And I shoot it into my girlfriend every chance I get. Mm -hmm. Or the dreamer. Yep. Dreamer boy. So what do you want to talk about with season uh, six? Is, it season is this six? the final season? It's the final season. Are you sad? Uh, no, not really. No. The show is the very, audience is very, or the the critics are very. Ha they love this episode. Yeah, because they get fired if they didn't like it. Uh huh. But the audience is audience not so happy. Is more reasonable. Uh, season six. I, so I don't even know if I remember what happens. It Can we sucks. start with season? Let's just see real quick. Season yes. one. Season one was pretty awesome. Was it though? Yeah. There 54%. Was a, not that awesome. There was, a see, there was a scene in the first episode where you got to see Melissa Benoit's stomach. And I was like, fuck, that's nice. 56% for season two. Yeah, it was okay. And then season three. 54%. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's going down. Yup. Ooh, 41%. Uh-huh. Season five. 39% oh. season six steady decline in yep. fact one less critic because that critic got tired of watching yeah. this and they're like no more it, please take me like old yeller behind the shed and put me out of my misery it, it got worse with time it got super woke it got pointless I don't know why I was watching it other than Melissa Benoist is, is fun to look at sometimes sometimes yeah uh, I know there was women in it uh, you know, she's she's a supergirl. There's her sister, also a woman. Um, uh huh. There's Dreamer, maybe a woman. Uh huh. Uh, what else happened? Weren't you talking about the villains? How important the villains oh, were? Oh yes, the villains. There's so Mister Mixapixelips. He's not a villain. He's a good guy. Mixapixelips, don't Mister Little Dicks. If you say his name backwards, doesn't he uh, go away? I think so. Mix, mix Zipitalix. Yep. Mixy. Tom Lennon. Yeah, he is like a magical imp that just. But he's a wishes. normal sized human. He's a genie. Yeah, he's a genie imp that's not small. Uh huh. For no reason. He's barely in it. Like that dude shows up. He he is a recurring character. Mixy as Pitalic. Yeah. That's how mix you pronounce Pitalix. it. Mix a Pitalic. There mm -hmm. we go. Got Here it. He, he has a history of mischief since 1944. I, I guess so. Uh-huh. Yeah. But he's a normal sized person in this. In this, yeah. Then there's the 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 end version of of the imps is Nick's. Mrs. Pitalix. Niggle Piggle Licks. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nix, Nixle Piggle Nixel Suxel Dicks. Uh Nixelix? No, it just says Nixelix. Uh, Nick Nixelixy. You don't uh. know, man. This is so stupid. She's another imp. Same power, but she's, same size. Regular size human being. She is. She's even taller. She's she's oh. taller than a lot she's of. She's taller than Melissa Benoit. She is. Benoist. So noist. Noisty moisty. Uh huh. Um. She. The the. Oh, you wanted to tell us about the glove of love. Basically, so season six, just like every other Arrowverse show, ended ab or season five ended abruptly because of uh, the, the Koofinator. And so season six starts with like the ending of season five, essentially. So she, uh, Supergirl's in the Phantom Zone. Who cares? There's a magical imp that's evil. They all get out because of magical beams and shit. Lex Luthor's bad. Boo. Him. Barely an inconvenience. Yeah. So then Nixapitalix gets out and she's like, I want to go somewhere else that's not Earth. And I need to create uh, superpowers with magical glove gems doesn't she already have superpowers she does but apparently she can't go somewhere else she just can't leave this is coming from a person that texted through most of the episodes of the uh -huh. show so keep that in mind it does say there's something about a gauntlet 
There is. It, but not an infinity gauntlet. A yeah. gauntlet of friendship. And love. And the love, love glove. The love glove of hope the and love. Season six was Supergirl and love glove. Uh-huh. Basically, the entire show was either Nixa Dixelix and Moisty Boisey trying to get the love glove. And they had the to go through stone. gauntlets of either like hope, love, friendship, gayness. Oh, my God. Um, what else? Anal. Oh I'm, my god! I'm not really sure what they had to do, but pretty sure there was there was no reason for this because all this dumb imp wanted to do was go home to her fifth dimensional home, and Supergirl's like, no, you can't. So you stay here with me. For some reason, I think. Scissor. Then uh, Lex Luthor's like, I love you because in the future we did babies and stuff. Lex Luthor. I think not. So. Lana Luther. No, Lena Luther. Lena. Lena Luther. Lana Luther. Lena Luther, I think, is a closeted female. Do they have babies together? I wish. She's Irish, sort of attractive, but I would have taken a makeup. She have an scene. Irish accent? Kind of, because she sucks at acting. Oh, okay. Yeah, like throughout the show, she's been in it since maybe season three or four. I'm not mm -hmm. sure, but she she's drops terrible. her accent, uh, you know, not frequently, but a little bit. Enough to be show. like, you can't act. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, enough to where she shouldn't be on the show. Gotcha. Uh, what else? I, the entire sixth season is just trying to get gems. They're trying to get the Infinity Gauntlet, which is lovely. Are they truly outrageous? They're... Who's outrageous? They're trying to get gem, and they're truly, truly, truly outrageous. I guess so. Sure. You don't. You don't know who gem is. I don't know who's who's gem. Gem, truly, truly, truly outrageous. Yeah, I wasn't from born, the eighties. I wasn't born in the eighties, so. Right. I don't get that reference. You weren't. No. I'm pretty sure you were. I was born nineteen ninety one, son. Mm. I'm a nineties baby. Mm. Yeah. So you have parachute pants. I wish Supergirl had parachute pants that failed so she would plummet to the earth and die. Oh. Yeah. Did that happen? It did not. She almost became uh, a sun Hitler, I think, in one episode. Huh? Where she literally absorbed all of the sun to take over earth. Yeah, but then there would be no sunlight. Exactly. And I so think she realized dark. that and she's like, wait, I'm not going to do this because sun Hitlering is bad. Okay. And uh, she didn't. And she's like, I'm sorry, humans. So where like, does Dreamer fit into all of this? Boy, there's so many dreams in this. There's a Dreamstone, I think. Oh. Which Dreamer... Wow, that's some wide hips. Um, broad shoulders. Mm -hmm. A lot of Adam's apples going on. Uh, Twins. In a hidden penis. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Uh, I'm not sure like how far Fully. along all the way they are. Uh, Where does Dreamer fit into all of this? She shows up. I think she's like an intern at uh, Catco and Supergirl. Catco. Yeah, and she magically didn't. Has... What's her face? Leave that show a long time ago. She did. Yeah, like okay. season two or but something. They, oh my gosh, she yeah. was like, "This is a ship I don't want to be on." Yeah. Who's that lady's name? Uh, Cat Grant is in the show. I don't know what her actual name is. Oh my gosh, is she famous from another show with a dancing baby? Mm -hmm. Is she married to Harrison Ford? Is she? She is. I don't know what her name is. Oh my god. Do I have to look this up? You should Google it. While I talk about Dreamer, because Dreamer's useless. Does she she loves uh, she loves uh, Brainiac. And they Brainiac. kiss they kiss a lot in this. Oh. Believe the Flockhart. The Flockhart. Yeah. Flockhart. She she okay. She was in Allie McBeal. Oh, she was Allie McBeal? She was the Allie McBeal. Oh my god. How do you not know that? How and that? in K Callista Clay Flockhart. Yeah, I didn't. I, I forgot that she was Ellie McBeal. How about that? It's very exciting. That's neat. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the neatest thing about this show, honestly. Is that she quit the show? Yeah. And she she's comes Allie back McBeal. for the season finale. Oh, does she? Does yep. she make out with Supergirl? I wish she interviewed does Supergirl. Anyone make out with Supergirl? Nobody makes. Out I with was Supergirl. under the impression that Lana Lang made out with her. I I wish. Did they cut that scene? Oh, probably. Oh God. Yeah. This this last season was fucking useless. <laughs> Just what? terrible. I literally paid attention less and less. Even the season finale, where it's like all in your feels and trying to make you cry. Did you cry? I did not. I was like, I, I don't, I don't care. It what ends. A bigot you are. Yeah. It ends. I think. Uh, I don't. You don't I, remember. I no. It ends with. 
uh, Ally McBeal interviewing Supergirl and her dropping her secret identity because she doesn't want to feel burdened with two lives. So she wants everything to be one so she can live freely and blah, 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 blah. Who cares? She's super. Who's yeah, going to stop that's her? That's kind of dumb because now you're just putting a target on everybody you love's back. So, yeah. you know, you dumb. And uh, Not a good idea. Nope. Not great. Dreamer is too busy scissoring Brainiac the entire time. <laughs> okay. Uh, Supergirl doesn't get nude. Depressing. Does she make out? Doesn't she have a boyfriend or something? She, yeah, but he, he leaves in like oh. two seasons ago. Oh, he, but they're married in real life and he gave her babies. Oh, God. Chris Wood, you good looking. He dropped that wood. He's sexy. So I would not recommend this unless you're really committed to this show. Uh, Which you clearly were. I was. I was committed. I was. Like uh, a relationship. I wanted to I wanted to like it, but it just sucks. And uh Is the CW over? Not no, as long as Bat Wham is they around. Got Superman and Lois. Oh, okay. That is actually a good show. You should watch it if you haven't. But no, the CW Arrowverse, for all intents and purposes, is, is pretty shitty. I'm waiting to review Flash Armageddon. Is she in this? In that? Uh, that's a good question. She might be. I'm not sure. I'm going to wait till it's a five-part thing. I'm going to wait for all five parts. And then and you're just going to do a whole Armageddon? Binge it hard. We're, we're going to do a separate review for Flash Armageddon. Well, that sounds exciting. It's probably not going to be, but we'll do it anyway for the fans. For the fans who asked for it. They didn't, but we're going to do it anyway. And mm. hopefully you listen and give us subscribes and stuff. Yes, you do that or else. You I do this. will cosplay as Dreamer and go into your dreams like Scurry Turry and, you know, slice you in a way. I'm going to slice you and dice you, bitch. Not sexually pleasant. Mm. And, you know, afterwards, I'll probably apologize. You know, I'll go to but the But the cops. damage will be done. I'll go to the cops. I'll try to give myself up. The cops will run away. We'll probably have a trial. There's going to be a good defense attorney. It's going to be like, were you actually meaning to do this? No. Were they running at you with knives? Yes, absolutely. And then I knive them up. And then I get acquitted for all charges because wow. I'm an American hero. Mm, interesting. Well, for that and more, be sure to check out our full live audio podcast as we do that live streamed on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Friday night. And you can catch our live, well, our regular podcast anytime you want. You can have us in your pocket on your phone just chatting with you anytime you want. iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, you know them, you got them. Sign up. We know you love it. Anyway, from New New and I, I'm the man you know is Z, and we are on to the next one.